Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my little mini haul and I also wanted to tell you guys what I was thinking about doing for my upcoming videos. So before I um tell you guys about my upcoming videos, I'm going to show you what I purchased in the last couple of days. So first I want to start with is my drugstore purchases. And yesterday um, I went to Rite Aid and they had a 40% off on all, on all Wet n Wild products. So if you have a Rite Aid by you, I suggest, if and if you like Wet n Wild, I suggest you go there and stock up because I bought so much stuff for 8 bucks, and that is a steal. So we're going to get started. I bought four nail polishes and it is the Mega Last um, Nail Salon color. And the four colors that I bought yesterday was Bite the Bullet, which is a pretty lavender color. I'm not going to say lilac. Lavender. I bought Under Your Spell, which is like a black with, I would say maybe iridescent, um, cranberry, cranberry color, cranberry color to it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. Can you see it on the camera? Ah, uh, yeah. It looks more red on camera, but it's really, really dark in person. The next color I got was 2% Milk, which is a light color. This is perfect if you wanted to do a uh, um, French manicure. This is a really, really, really good color for that, for your base. And the last color I got was Private Viewing, which is a nude color. And this is a pretty, 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 pretty color. I tried this on my brother. I can't believe he let me put it on his fingers. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> the next things I purchased were lipsticks. And I got four lipsticks. And the first one is Vamp It Up, which is a really dark purple, almost black. And that is 919B. The other one, um, the other one. Um, another one that I purchased was called Mochalicious, and that's in 914C, and this is, to me, like a milk chocolate color. It's not so dark. It's not as dark as the as a mocha color. To me, it's a little lighter. I would consider this more milk chocolate, but that's 914C. If you can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. And this is the color. Um, the other one I purchased, I actually purchased this two days ago. I didn't purchase this yesterday. Um, this one's called Raven Raisin, which is a pretty, pretty purple. And I opened this one up, so I'll show you out the, um, out the canister or whatever tube, whatever you want to call it. And this is a really, 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 really pretty purple. I had this on my lips yesterday. It's a matte finish, but it's not drying. And it, it, it has some moisture to it. And I got to tell you, I really, really love this. I love, love, love these lipsticks. And they're long-lasting. I think I had this lipstick on for about six hours yesterday. And reapplied it maybe very lightly one time. And I didn't really have to reapply it. I just wanted to. But it was just, it just, it's beautiful. Can you see that? Pretty, pretty, pretty purple color. And the other two that I showed you, the um, Vamp It Up and the Mochalicious, are also um, matte finish, but just a little bit moisturizing. Not too moisturizing, but it's good. But before you do put these lipsticks on, please make sure that you um, scrub your lips because it can show the cracks and dryness of your lips due to the matte finish. The last lipstick that I purchased was Blushing Bali, which is a nude color. It's actually the same color as my lips because I have it on right now and it doesn't look like I have any lipstick on, which I think is perfect and it smells like candy, like cheap candy. Does that make sense? Cheap candy? It just smells good. I like it. And it's 545A Blushing Bali. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is a pretty color. Let me swatch it on my hand so you can see it. Because on my lips, you really can't see it. It's like the same color as my lips. Exact same color. So that's what it is right here. Blush and Bali. And this one is Raven Raisin. 
And another item that I purchased, ah, drop my, I dropped my lipstick. I hope it did not mess up. Please, it did not mess up. I'll get it later. The other thing that I purchased um, yesterday was a color tattoo. And this is in Tenacious Teal. I have been looking for this color for the past week. Everywhere that I went, CVS, Wayne Reed, Rite Aid, Target, it was sold out. I'm like, are you kidding me? Kmart. Everywhere I went, they were sold out. And I'm just like, oh my God, where's this color? I want this color. I don't want to purchase it online. Like, that's like extra added money that I don't want to spend. So I went to the Rite Aid um, by my nail salon and they had excited and I got this for $6.69 I have four other colors I have the purple color the green color the orange color and the like reddish burgundy color so yeah so this add on to the collection so this is my fifth one I don't plan on getting any other ones because I have um you know jumbo eyeshadow pencils from NYX that are the other colors that I can just use as bases. So I'm not going to buy any of the other colors. I'm satisfied with the ones that I have. Um, so yeah, this is the last one. On Saturday when I was out with my uh, mom and brother, I picked up two nail polishes and two brushes. I'm going to show you the brushes later because I actually have to reach over the camera to get them. But this is two nail polishes from Jordana. They were $1.99. I'll tell you the prices of the stuff that I purchased on sale for Wet n Wild after I finish this. But this, these were $1.99. I got this, I got two of them. This first color is in Boy Oh Boy. And it's like a bluish, tealish color. This is so pretty. I have this on my toes. And my toes are popping, popping. My toes are like three shades lighter than my face so it really makes my feet pop and I love it then I um, purchased the yellow one in mellow yellow this one when you put this on you're gonna have to put like three coats of this on because it's a bit sheer it's okay um, I was hoping from the way it looks in the bottle I, I thought it would be more opaque but it's not it's sheer but I mean I mean three coats is fine this one one coat you're fine this one's really opaque I really like this blue one and those retail for $1.99 and after yesterday after I, well, I'm hitting my lips yesterday after I went to Rite Aid to um, get all this stuff that I purchased I went to my local beauty supply store and I was looking for one thing in there I went in there specifically for one thing but I came out with three and the thing that I wanted to get was a dark brown excuse me my neck is killing me a dark brown um eyeshadow matte and I found it and it's an NYX um eyeshadow and it's in Hawaiian coffee I don't know if you can see that and I paid $4.99 for it can you see it there we go I don't know if you can see the $4.99 anyway that was $4.99. It's in Hawaiian coffee. And then I also purchased a lip pencil that's much darker than my lips, but I thought it would help with lighter um, colors to my lips to just tone it down and make it so light or so bright. And this lip liner is lip pencil, lip liner pencil is a new truffle. And I think I paid $2, $3 for this. Okay. The last thing I got from, um, the beauty supply store was the NYX Photo Loving Primer and Anti Redness. And I purchased this because I get red. I'm red here constantly in this area of my nose and around my mouth and, you know, up here in your upper lip. And even though I put concealer and foundation on my face, it's still red here. And I don't like that at all. Usually my face is red, all, not all year round. You could say winter and in the summer. And the summer is red and burnt. And the winter is just red because it's cold here in New York. So I thought maybe I should try this out to see if I can get some, you know, take away some of the redness around my mouth and nose area and I'll do a separate review on this to see how it is when it cools down here because in New York City right now it's 100 degrees it's gonna be 100 degrees today tomorrow Friday and then it's gonna drop 20 degrees it's gonna be like 80 which is still hot here in New York 
but it's going to drop down 20 degrees on Saturday and so on. So for the next couple of days, I'm not wearing any makeup. So hopefully, you know, Sunday, Monday, Monday, I'll probably do a review on this. So and this retails for 10 bucks. Now I'm going to show you three brushes that I purchased. So, okay. So I'm going to show gonna you the brush brushes that I purchased in the last couple of days. On Saturday, when I was with the fam, I had bought two of brushes, which is the e.l.f. Eyeshadow, professional eyeshadow brush, which is a dollar. And so far, I like this brush. Very nice. It's just a regular eyeshadow brush. You can see a little makeup on there. But um, it's just a regular eyeshadow brush that I need, you know, when you pat on the eyeshadow on your lid. And here is a e.l.f. Professional bronzing brush. I would use this as for my highlighter. I would use this as when I want to put highlighter here. That's what I would use this brush specifically for. I don't think I would use this for bronzing. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it for bronzing. I have some um, other brushes that I might use for bronzing. The last brush that I purchased was two days ago when I bought the Raven Raisin. And this is the Rite Aid Renewal Powder Brush. And I kid you not, this, was, this retail for $7. I kid you not, this brush is soft. Super, super soft. I love these brushes. I love these brushes. Excuse me. I have a flat liner brush from Rite Aid Renewal, and I have a smudge brush from um, Rite Aid Renewal. And I kid you not, I love those brushes. They're really, really good. I have not experienced. I have I have not experienced any shedding. They're really, really worth the money. So you do have a Rite Aid by you, and you do see these products, and you're like, eh, I don't know. I'm telling you, they're really, really good. They're worth the $7 or the $4 or whichever brush you are. Like, this one was 7 bucks. The Flatliner brush was $4, and the Smudge brush, I think, was 3 So they're really worth the money, and, I, again, they don't experience any shading. So if you're wondering about it, I suggest you go get them. Okay, that's it for my haul that I've done, you know, that I've purchased in the last couple of days. And I want to talk to you guys about my upcoming videos. Now, I want to do makeup tutorials, but I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I want to do two series. I want to do a candy series, and I want to do an RB Diva series. So I'm trying to think of, like, candies to do and some RB Divas I want to do. That's far from my candy, list. um... Candy series. I wanted to do cotton candy. I wanted to do a licorice, like a really dark black eye makeup. And I wanted to do like a lemon drop. And they do have candy that's lemon drop. It's just not a drink. Um, they're like really sour lemons. And they're called lemon drops. Anyway, so those are the three that I have for candy. I'm still thinking about what other candies I wanted to do to show you guys makeup tutorials. And now for the RB list, I have Keisha Cole. I saw one of her videos last night. It was um, the one with her Monica. I think it's called Truth. And she has this pretty like yellow gold on her eyelid. And it was like this like emerald, like, like army green on the outer, like her outer lid and so far in her crease. And it was gorgeous. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to do that. So I have Keisha Cole, I have Rihanna, I have Beyonce, I have Monica, and I have Kelly Rowland. So if there's any other R&B diva that you would like to see, please let me know. I would definitely take it into consideration. Also, but with the candy. that is it for this haul and um, telling you about my upcoming videos. And if you do like my videos, please subscribe above. Or if you like this video, please like below. And until next time, i see you guys later. Oh, and if you live on the East Coast, North or South, please stay cool. It is so hot outside. Please, please stay cool and drink lots and lots of water. Bye, guys.